Hello Digi fans and welcome back to Digidom, the series of videos where I take you from, you know it, zero to digital hero using Adobe Spark. Now in today's tutorial you're going to become a d -d 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 DJ, ch -ch 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 check it, okay I'll stop that now, but you're going to become a DJ because I'm going to teach you how to make a DJ poster using Adobe Spark Post. Now, if you're using a phone or a tablet, you can download the Adobe Spark apps individually. If you're using a laptop or desktop, just go to spark.adobe.com. Now it's time to go over to the tutorial where I teach you to become a d -d 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 DJ. I did say I wouldn't do that again, but I couldn't resist. Teach you how to become a DJ by making your very own DJ poster using Adobe Spark Post. Enjoy. So. I'm using the browser today, so if you're using a, an iPhone or an iPad, then you would use the Spark Post app. But I'm using the browser, so I'm going to click here, and I'm going to go to, I'll tell you what I'm going to go to, I'm going to go to View All down here. Now you can view all the graphics here, there's lots of different um, ways in which you can do this. You can get creative and just do whatever you like, but I'm going to show you templates. So because it's a DJ one, uh, let me show you, if I put in music album, for example, look at all of these different options that you have for doing your kind of DJ poster. And if you just keep scrolling, it keeps loading. Look, it'll even keep going there. But the one I'm gonna show you today is this one here. I really like this one, I think it's cool. Uh, it's so cool, in fact, it's already had 21,490 remixes. So I'm gonna edit this template myself. Okay, so when you're in here, there's a couple of different things that you can do to, make, to kind of remix it. Now, the first one is it's got this uh, Nate owner, whoever Nate owner is, if that's how you say it. And I'm going to put my DJ name, which is obviously DJ Digidom. Cool. Uh, I'm going to get it all onto one line because that's what I want. And, you know, you can pop that about. It'll, it'll align itself. You can see this little green. Uh, dotted lines come in when it's saying, oh, you've aligned it to the left, aligned it to the right. But let me show you what else I'm going to do here. Now, what they've done here is they've, um, you can actually, this is what's called, if you just typed in lines, for example, in icons, and if you put in li ooh, not phone lines, I just put in lines, then you get things like this, you see, and which is almost exactly the same as this one. Uh, so I'm actually going to go for it. I'm going to take this one out and put this style of lines in. Now, I'm going to change the color on it and go for that. Now, what you'll remember from um, the lines that were on the screen before is that they were kind of see-through. So how did that work? So if I go to, uh, if I just select my icon there and go to opacity and bring it down, look what happens. If you bring it all the way down to, um, down to the bottom, you can't see them at all, barely. And then if you take it all the way to the top, they're kind of completely block color. So I'm going to do them about halfway. That looks pretty nice to me. I like it. So I'm going to make it slightly bigger. There you go. You see the way the lines turn up there? And it's centered. OK. So I'm going to get my Digidom text. I just click off there. And then ooh, what I'll have to do is I'll have to move that out of the way slightly so I can move my text now. So I'm going to move my text kind of down to about there, I think. And then I'm going to grab my words and pop them in there. Now, what I want is I want to put some other text in there. So I'm going to, going to select that text there. I'm going to press duplicate because what I want to do is I want to keep the same style. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it in there, double click it, new remix. New remix. So my new DJ remix, or my pretend one at least, is out now, ready for you guys to download and get into your earphones. Perfect. Uh, you've got new remix, DJ Digidom. Now what you'll also see here is if I click this, um, or rather if I click the lines, you'll see that there's an order tab here, and you can see that the DJ Digidom words are actually behind the lines. So I'm going to switch up the order here. And if I bring that down, you see the way that just popped? The text just popped to the front. And that's what I want. I want the text to always appear on the top. So we've got new remix, DJ Digidom. Uh, and then down here, you've got new album. 
available on Sparklify. Now, I'm going to take that out, Sparklify. It's kind of like a play on words on Spotify. Pretty good, that. I kind of like it. So I'm going to say, I'm going to take out the other stuff before because I changed it from new album to new remix. You see that purple line that just appeared? That tells us that um, it's centered. Uh, I wanted it to be centered, which is pretty cool. Um, if you want, you know, you can change the size of this at any time, but I didn't want to do that. So I'm just going to press undo to make sure it gets back to the place I wanted it to be in. I'm going to put another bit of text in there as well. And I'm going to put this one down to the bottom. Now you can center it just using your trackpad or you can use your left arrow, up arrow, down arrow, and right arrow just to get that into place. I think that's about where I want it to be. Double click here. And then I'm going to put out now. Cool. Now I can stretch out the text here so that it fills the box. I kind of want it to fill the box, I think. And then just kind of move it around until I feel like it's centered. There you go. New remix by DJ Digidom out now. Now, uh, you'll see on the bottom, it's got available on Sparklify. And now you've got the text styles. And actually, the secondary text, uh, which is this second half here, that's uh, Source Sans Pro. And then this one here is Bebas New. I want it all to be Bebas New. So I'm going to take this one, bin it. There you go. Now it's all Bebas New, which I like. I think that's better. Now, one of the things that I think now is that this text and these lines is actually quite far down the page. So I've just selected that piece of text. And if I press shift and select the next piece and the bit at the top and the lines as well, now when I move it, it all moves at the same time, which is cool. I'm just going to move it up there. And also it'll all resize at the same sort of rate as well. So let me pop that there. Um, also, I'm going to select the background image here. Now, one of the things you can do with filters, if you press that, is that you can play around with how it looks. Ooh, the grayscale is quite cool, isn't it? I like that. Multiply. Colorize is another good one. If you press shuffle, it will give you different options. Kind of like that red one, actually. I think that looks pretty cool. You can change the color of the lines as well. Let me show you. If I change it to that, the opacity, you know, the, the amount that you can see through it, that stays the same. Now, let me show you how to add in a little icon as well. So because I'm a DJ, I'm going to put headphones. Oh, like these ones. I'm going to select that. You see that it goes in there. It's kind of picked out a color, which it thinks I want, but actually I don't want that color. So I'm going to select color over there. Press white. Uh, I'm going to alter the size of those headphones, and then I'm going to use my arrows just to pop it on the corner of that piece of text there. Let me maybe bring the size down a little bit more. Available to listen in your headphones. Look at that. I think that's pretty cool. You see what I did with the, if I, if I select that there, you know, I can change the angle at which that appears as well. Nice. I really like that. Now, also, you might be thinking, well, who's this dude in the picture? I don't know who that is. Well, if I select that, I can press replace and I could find, a, you know, this one was a portrait that was in here. You could you could use anybody you like, really. But I've actually got a picture that I want to use. So I'm going to go to upload photo and go to my downloads and check this out. I took my own DJ picture just before this started. Ah, yeah, there I am in the background. Love that. Now I want to bring myself in slightly. So I'm going to scale myself up. I've got my beanie and my shades on. Well, that was pretty cool. You might not think so, but I challenge you to do something cooler. I'm going to, I think that's around about center. And then filters. Now look at this one down here. I can blur it as well if I want to. Nice. I don't think I want to blur it too much. I might give it a little bit of blur so it kind of looks cool. I can keep press the colorize to see if there's a different option there. I can grayscale it. Ooh, grayscale is quite nice. Multiply. 
shuffle that, it'll turn it around as well. But actually, I think I'm going to go for, I think I'll go for the red on the blue because I think that looks cool. So there we go. Got a new Rix, new remix by DJ Digidom, and it's out now, available on Sparklify. When you're ready, you can download it to your computer just by clicking Start Download, and it'll end up down there. If you want to rename your post, you can do here. I'll put it DJ Digidom. There we go. Um, and then also, if you want to share it with your friends, then you can just press Share here, publish it. Click link, and it creates a lovely link for you that you can copy and share with your friends and your family, anyone else who's interested. Cool. I hope you enjoyed that, DigiFans. Don't forget to share your d -d 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 designs. You weren't expecting that, were you? Your designs with me using the hashtag DigiDom or by finding me on the socials, Dom underscore trainer. I'd love to see them. I'd love to ch 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 check them out. Sorry. Still, still, still just want to do it. Uh, yeah, so that's it for this week. And I'll see you in the next DigiDom video.